Hey guys, it's Lindsay here with 670 The Score. We're here at Buffalo Wild Wings in Northbrook with the Bud Light Who Needs Two Tavern Tour with Boars and Bernstein. Today we're giving away Rush and Cubs tickets, so let's go inside and check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Jim. Jim, what brings you out here today? Boars and Bernstein Show. Are you a true fan of the Boars and Bernstein Show? I am. It's the uh, probably the best show on the score. It really gives me a good entertainment after mo after a hard day at work. So thoroughly enjoy it. Awesome. Is this the first time you've seen them live? Yes, it is. And how is it seeing them live opposed to hearing them on the radio? It's actually really cool. Terry looks smaller than I thought he would be, but uh, it's it's interesting to see how it's all actually you know how the show actually works because you know on the radio all you hear is voices but this is it's a nice perspective to see awesome and what sh sets this show apart from other sports shows out there in the radio what is it about this show well it's a combination of comedy and serious sports journalism they both know what they're talking about as far as Chicago sports go but there's a huge comedic act to it and it really you know, you laugh, you get a lot of good information, they do good interviews, and I mean, it's, I can't think of a better show. They're a great tandem, you know, they're, they're good foils to each other, so it's a very good show. Do you like Bud Light? I do indeed. And what do you like most about Bud Light? Easy drinking, very refreshing, it's, it's light enough to enjoy on hot days like this, and it doesn't, you know, doesn't fill you up too much. It's uh, one of my favorites. Awesome. Can we expect to see you at another tour again soon? God willing. This just worked out because I happened to be working up here today, and I got in the truck, and I heard they were here. And If I'm in the area, I would definitely stop again. Well, thank you, Jim. We hope we see you again. All right. Thank you, girls. Take care. Mike, what brings you out here today? I'm in town from Atlanta. I used to live in Chicago. I was a big fan of the show then. So I figured I'd take the time to come in and check them out while I'm up here. Wow, so you came all the way pretty much from Atlanta just to see the show. Pretty much. What do you like most about the show? I would say just how honest they are. They don't hold back. They don't hold back on what they say about different people, even it might be contrary to what would be best for CBS or what's popular or what the callers will think because they take a lot of heat from it. But they always stand up to it, and they have very good opinions and very intelligent. Awesome. Have you ever seen them live before? Nope. So this is your first time? Yep. What do you like most about seeing them live? What is different about seeing them live than hearing them just on the radio? Oh, you know, you get, you can, you hear the show, but, you know, you don't really have any visual to go with it, and it's just cool to kind of see how they kind of gesture to each other to try to get, um, like, especially during the second half, to, you know, try to match up what they're going to do to be in sync, and, you know, they're nice guys who went up and met them, got autographs, so it was neat. Awesome. And what do you think it is about this show that sets it apart from other sports shows out there on the radio? I would say they're just a lot more entertaining. I like their opinions are a lot more enlightened than other shows. And I like it when Bernstein is in it with callers. It's, it's classy. <laughs> it's really funny. Awesome. So I'm assuming this is your first Bud Light Who Needs Two Tavern tour. Yep. What do you like most about Bud Light? It just tastes good and it... I like it. <laughs> what sets it apart from other light beers out there on the market? Um, I don't, it's just as I, it's worth the, worth the price, and I like the taste of it, and you actually you can feel when you drink it. Some light beers, you don't really like to feel a little drunk, but it's not too bad. So Awesome. And I know you're from Atlanta, but if you're ever in town again, can we expect to see you at another tour? Definitely. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. Chris and Steve, what do you guys like most about the show? Just all everything they talk about. Definitely, I like uh, the humor that they bring to the sports aspect and the interviews. Have you, interviews top it off. Have you guys ever seen them live before? Um, I've seen them live at in Rigbyville. Awesome. Was it for Bud Light Who Needs Two Tavern Tour? Yes, it was. So you've been to one. I love Bud Light. What do you like most about Bud Light? It's amazing. It tastes great. What sets Bud Light apart from the other light beers out there? It's just something I've been drinking since I was in high school. I like I love Bud Light. <laughs> Good to know. What about you, Steve? Are you a fan of Bud Light? Oh yeah. I what have you, to be, right? <laughs> what do you like about Bud Light? Um, the taste and it goes down. It's less filling and great tasting. And have you ever seen Boris and Bernstein live before? No, it's my first time. 
And how does it feel to see them live opposed to hearing on the show? Awesome. Brings in a good crowd and it's a fun time. So yeah, getting to the fun crowd. How does it feel to have them here at the restaurant that you guys work at? It's awesome because it's actually putting our name out, giving the word to the entire area. We're open, we're new in town, we, we have a good radio station here. And it's our first live show here too, so that definitely is good for them and good for us and good for Bud Light. Awesome. So if they're not here, can we expect to see you at another show though again soon? Sure. As long as it's not working. Uh, well, thank you guys. You're welcome. Well, that concludes another edition of the Bud Light Who Needs Two Tavern Tour with Boards and Bernstein. Be sure to check us out on 670score.com. Today we gave away a lot of Cubs and Rush tickets, and it was a good time. Join us next week at the Cubby Bear in Lincolnshire. Thanks, guys.